There, I got him. Got him. Look at that, guys. Got him. There we go, guys. Look at that. We doubled up. Heck yeah. What's going on guys, Bassin and Mafia here coming at you with a new video for this week. In this week's video, we got something special for you. We're going to be on Gifford Pincho State Park and in this one, we're going to be doing some frogging and flipping. Grass is up real high there and we ended up tearing the crap out of fish. Got my good buddy Jared from Flipping the Script Fishing with me and if you want to check it, his channel, you can. It'll be linked in the description down below if you want to. But stay tuned for some crazy action and here we go. Start out throwing the Spro Poppin' Frog here, trying to get a poppin' retrieve. I like to go slower with the frog and start out slow first. And that's what I was doing here. Hey, in the truck. <laughs> There's one. There's one. Nah, I got him. There we go, guys. Got one out of salad. That's the old frog. Uh, 15 inch or maybe. Speak to that guy. Let him go. There we go, first fish in the boat. Now here I start flipping and I'm flipping a missile bait D bomb super bug color. And I miss a fish here, and especially flipping, you always throw back to a missed fish. Always, always, always throw back to a missed fish. Oh, that was a... Cannot fish. stress that enough. Because 90% of the time, it. they bite again. Okay. Especially if you don't get a hook in them. Oops. Should have set the hook. As you see, after missing that fish, I flipped back into him, and I got him that time. There, I got him. There, I got him. Think you might have figured something out? Maybe. I think they're definitely in this greener on that inside, edge. inside edge of it for sure. There we go, another one guys. Let him go. one kind of like changes my last second but definitely jared's behind me here missing a couple fish in a row oh, and throwing the spro bronze eye frog yeah. just the normal frog in the sexy shad color twitching it along at a nice steady pace keeping his frog moving Got that one so far. I got it so far. <laughs> I'll be up there half the lake with it. 
<laughs> just a little guy with like hundreds of pounds of grass if I, if I had one that was an actual you know five pounder or something <laughs> i don't think i'd get it even a dog you'd have to go get it <laughs> it's a big target too this is out here you're gonna get the bikes you know yeah you think they got water they got they can got all the way in there but they're definitely in that <laughs> so much grass. Yeah, probably, probably a pounder too. <laughs> yeah. He's in there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Another little guy. <laughs> 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 That's too funny. As you can see now, I noticed Jared was getting a lot more bites on the regular frog. So I switched to the regular frog and the uh, it was a sexy shag colored frog. Now this one, this one I knew was a big fish just by the way he hit it. Usually really big fish only suck the frog right under. They don't really hardly come up for it. And that's just something you learn after frog fishing for a long time and doing a lot of it. Usually the bigger the fish is, the less of a uh, eruption or explosion that they make. They usually just suck it right under. And that was kind of what this one did. And as you can see, hook bent straight out. Yeah, he just sucked it. Did you get a hook in my mouth? Yeah, I found him for a second. Oh. He straightened your hook, yeah. He straightened my hook completely. That had to be a good one. Yeah. My goodness. <sighs> that sucks. Look at that, guys. That hook got completely straightened by that fish that I just missed there. That was probably a good one. Son of a gun. One thing I can't stress enough too is don't get frustrated frog fishing. Mostly because they're gonna hit it and they're gonna miss it. It's just part of frog fishing. Especially when you're in really heavy cover like this was. This cover was so heavy there were certain points where you could see the bass trying to come up through the mat to hit the frog and they couldn't break through so you just got to keep throwing and if you miss one throw back to it and then if you miss it on the frog try to maybe throw back and flip to it a lot of times flipping back to it with a flipping bait and a heavy weight is a great way to get a fish that missed the frog to bite again Where's he at? <laughs> There's another decent one, guys. That's a chunky one. Keeper. Fat little guy. Decent. Let him go. You brought some waters? Yeah, they're in that cooler there. Which one's cooler? Uh, the gray thing. Oh, there you go. I'm looking for like a... There's also a couple Gatorades in there too. Huh? There's also a couple Gatorades in there too. You ever see somebody get flip out about having a banana in the boat? Yeah. 
<laughs> Some people freak out about that. Like, you can't have a banana in the boat. Well, guess what, guys? We got a banana in the boat and we're catching fish. <laughs> <laughs> They're giants yet, but we're catching fish. I bet, I bet you, you put that in title. He brought a banana, or he put a banana in my boat, and this happened. <laughs> yeah, we still caught fish. It didn't make a difference at all. Nope, not one difference. There you go guys, check that one out. Solid one. Nice guy. Probably about two and a half. Let him go. Splash the crap out of me. Got him. Double. <laughs> Took me two tries, but I got him. I was looking at yours when you hit mine. There we go guys, look at that, we doubled up. <laughs> Heck yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Got two pounders. <laughs> Release them? Yep. Ooh, there they go. Bye bye. Right. And of course this camera died. Huh? This camera died in the middle of it. Did it really? Right in the middle of it? Yeah. Oh. How did he need that trailer hook on that one? No, me neither. Those last two. I didn't have a problem. Hook, I almost wish I wouldn't have had that trailer hook on that big one. Maybe I would have got him. You think so? Huh? You think so? Maybe. I don't know. It might have been all he had though. Yeah. I mean, evidently it probably always that's one thing I've been noticing so the every cast that I've got one yeah. I've been doing pop 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 pause for like a couple seconds pop 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 pause for a couple seconds yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know, maybe that rain yeah. and that cold, maybe they, before that front they were active, real active, maybe after, I mean, not saying they're not active now, but uh, turned down a little bit. It's possible, you know, maybe why I'm missing too, because uh, they're going, 
Little jerk. Little guy? It looked like it. I saw his back come out. Maybe about the size of those ones that you got earlier. There we go. Another solid one <laughs> on the frog. That thick stuff. Wow. Right. That's three times now. Yeah. Yeah. He went after it three times on that cast. Oh. Oh. That was a big fish, yeah. dude. That was it for four, probably. Yeah, that's a good one. Ow, freaking almost got the hook in my finger. Huh? Said he almost got the hook in my finger. There we go, guys. Check out that nice one. Wow. Good one. And look at all this crap we're fishing. All this nastiness. Get your fish like that. Just let him go. Ding! <laughs> yeah. Talk for cover, where's his helmet? That's a 
quality fish too. <laughs> Ooh, you get to him. Oh, he's doing all the work for you. <laughs> Fat fish. Healthy fish back here. Man, his chompers are sharp. Are they? Yeah. You got a good hook for that one. Yeah, dude, that's a pain in the hell. Yeah, that whole thing is shook. Just ran to the bottom of that thing. I get to that. Not a fish with my mouth. There we go. There we go guys, look at that solid one. Another nice one. So there we go. That's going to about conclude it for you on this one. I'm going to break down my rod selection that I was using that day. Um, this was my frog and rod. This was my frog of choice. Little Spro Sexy Shab Frog. There we go. And now that guy, for some reason, they wanted the Sexy Shad Frog, or at least the frog with the white belly and red bottom. Tried a couple other frogs, and they wouldn't come up and hit it like they did this one. For some reason, they really liked this one much more than all the others. Don't know why, but they did. Um, obviously, Frog and Rod, I got 65 pound Yozuri Super Braid. It's blue, as you can see, kind of blue. It's really faded right now. But got a pretty fast reel on there. This is a 7.3 Enigma Phenom reel. And I got that paired up on my 7.3 Heavy Enigma Phenom Titanium Series Phenom Rod. Um, you want a big heavy rod, stiff backbone to horse them fish out of that cover. As you saw, some of that cover was so thick that the bass could hardly get themselves to break through for the frog. But need this heavy line and a heavy, heavy rod to horse them out of there and make sure you don't lose them. And I was also flipping on a 7.6 mag heavy Enigma Phenom with 65 pound braid as well. And what I was flipping was a missile bait D bomb and all this gear and baits, I will link in the description down below for you guys to check out. So if you want to, you can there. And with that being said, stay tuned for next week's video, guys. We'll catch you then.